I don't come on this video thinking that I'm going to convince you not to get it because I'm not. If you want to get it, then get it. Okay? Don't be, you know, second guessing yourself and hesitating. Get it. Please understand that the person that you are watching, even if you're watching me, we process pain differently. What might hurt to you might not hurt to me and what might hurt to me might not hurt to you. My kings and queens, hello, hello, hello. It's your girl back again, time and time again with another video. <laughs> so, as you can tell by the title, I finally got my first tattoo. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. So, basically, I'm going to be discussing uh, my thoughts, comments, did it hurt? Um, what I use to heal. I'm only a weekend, but let's not get too into that. Let's just do my little intro real quick and then I get back to y'all. So let's get it. Okay, so I have been wanting a tattoo for quite some time now. I have been watching and researching and doing all of this stuff to try to figure out where I wanted my tattoo, what I wanted for my first tattoo, and how I wanted it done. So I want to say it took me about a year um, of me looking at different artists and finding potential artists that could do work on my body because I took this very seriously. This is going to be on my body for the rest of my life. So I wanted to make sure that it was done right and that it looked nice, okay? I didn't want no fucking chicken scratch on my body and then I look back like, why, why did I do that? No. The artist that I went to, strange enough, was not even on my list of artists. I mean, I found out about him through conversation with a coworker, honestly. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I was telling my coworker while we were in training that I wanted to get a tattoo. Now, I did not know where I wanted to get it and then I realized I want it on my spine. I think spine tattoos are very nice. They're sexy. Like I knew exactly what I wanted down my back and I wanted it written in Korean. So it was just a whole process. I was telling my coworker like, yeah, I wanted to get my tattoo and I've been looking for different artists and I was willing to fly to where these artists were just to make sure I get my work done by them because I didn't want anybody just, I didn't want any mediocre work on my body. I wanted the top of the top, best of the best in my opinion, like. So I ended up talking to him and he was like, why don't you go with my artist? And you know, I was a little hesitant. I'm like, go with your artist. Well, let me see what your artist is looking like. Let me see their page and see what they've done. I ended up coming across Satchmo. Now, I will put his IG in the description box below. He is like, shout out to him, shout out to you. Like he was amazing. Like I saw his work and I was like, wow, you know, honestly, and he's local, I definitely would get a tattoo from him. He was in Maryland. And so I reached out to him and compared to the other artists that I was talking to, they weren't like, one girl, I really wanted her to do my work and she was in Atlanta. She was sending me one message a day. She didn't seem like she was actually trying to schedule an appointment with me. She, I told her what day I wanted to come out there and it was getting closer and closer and she wasn't responding fast enough. So I was like, man, fuck that. With him being local, I could literally just drive. And he was fantastic. Like he responded back to me so fast. We worked it up. Now, I don't know if that's easier for artists or not, but I put exactly what I wanted on a mock, like a picture, a mock outline of a back. And then I put the tattoo on the back and then I sent it. I did it on Photoshop and I sent it to them and was like, can you do this? I did want more, but I realized that this is my first tattoo and this is gonna be on my spine. So I might have to break this up into two sessions. So I put down a deposit. I was just like, this is the guy. I feel comfortable. I think that he'll be able to do this successfully. So I just put down a deposit that day. I was dreading it, like dreading it. One thing I made a mistake and did, I looked things up. I was looking up if it hurt. I was looking up um, people's experiences on YouTube and everything, not realizing that everybody processes pain differently, okay? So please, everyone keep that in mind. While you are on this internet looking up 
spine tattoos and if it will hurt, please understand that the person that you are watching, even if you're watching me, we process pain differently. What might hurt to you might not hurt to me and what might hurt to me might not hurt to you. So just keep that in mind and do not be afraid. Please do not be afraid, okay? Do what you want to do, all right? Do it. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. Don't come on this video thinking that I'm going to convince you not to get it because I'm not. If you want to get it, then get it, okay? Don't be, you know, second guessing yourself and hesitating. Get it. All right, so now it's the day of me getting my tattoo. And I made sure that my sister and her boyfriend came with me because I needed someone there with me. And my sister had just gotten her first tattoo a couple of days uh, prior. I will be attaching her video because she definitely vlogged her experience as well. And I will attach it in the description box below. So check my little sister out because this is something that we both agreed on. We were gonna get our first tattoo. We were supposed to get it together on the same day, but work, real life, you know, reality set in. So we weren't able to do it, but she came down and she was with me. We walked in, when we got to the studio, uh, we took a video of how the studio looks. Now this is how the studio looks. I'm going to attach it. Now it was a really nice, like cozy vibe. Like it was so nice. Like I liked the studio a lot. Um, it looked really presentable. Like, he showed me the stuff that he put together for the, like the tattoo was gonna be written down my spine in Korean. And then he added like a flowers and stuff, but I ended up deciding that maybe I should do that in a different session because I don't know how I'm gonna be able to take this tattoo just yet. Um, he could tell I was a nervous wreck. I was freaked the fuck out because I didn't know like how this was gonna feel. I had people at my job showing me, like poking me with things, telling me, oh, it's gonna feel like this and oh, it's on the bone, it's gonna hurt. And I'm just like freaking out. So he just told me like, calm down. He was so soothing, like, he could tell and I really, really appreciate it. So shout out to you, Sajmo, cause you were the best, yo, like for real. And I will be coming back to you, trust. I signed the paperwork and everything like that. And we kind of got started. So I will attach that video next. He told me to open up my bra and he was shaving my back to make sure that the area was clear. I don't even know if I had hair back there, but I don't know, I can't see back there. He put the, like, I guess the outline or whatever on my back. And he told me that I was going to be sitting up. Now, everything, everything I've seen so far on spine tattoos, everybody was laying down. So when he told me I was sitting up, you can see him in my in the video, my reaction. Let me play it again. My reaction, I was like sitting up, like, oh my goodness, like I could not. I was done. I was like, this is about to hurt. So he made me hold on against a chair. And you know, he gave me a shot so I could unwind a little bit because I was bugging now prep prep wise i didn't do any prep i came i made sure i just showered lotioned up and got there like i didn't do any prep i didn't drink i didn't smoke i didn't do nothing i didn't do no numbing nothing i just i didn't do any prep so when we got in there we got to it he started from the bottom of my back and worked his way up to the top and he said that um i guess he basically said that it's easier on the artist um, to do it while I'm sitting up. He worked on his way from the bottom to the top. Now the bottom felt crazy. Like I was like, wow, this feels kind of funny, but it didn't feel so bad. How would I rate this pain? I give it a three out of 10. So it wasn't as bad. Like if you got, let me tell you something. If you got your ass whooped before in the past, you know what I'm saying? If you've gone through any type of cramping, if any, all those pains are worse than this on your spine trust me it did not hurt like when he, it was a certain spot the dip like the arch in my back when he got to that part it did feel a little like painful a little bit maybe i it, i would jump the pain up from a three to a four not that big of a deal i had my headphones on and i was listening to music and my biggest thing was focusing on my music and not focusing on the fact that he was tattooing me that's the that's what made it easy because once i started focusing on the fact that he was tattooing me i felt the pain more but when i was on my phone and i was just kind of going through instagram listening to music i didn't even realize that this was going on like it was so quick it was the quickest two hours of my life he also would stop and check in on me like are you okay how you handling it i made sure that i sat absolutely still i did not want him to mess this up at all but not so still that i was tense like i just made sure i did not move i don't really have any footage of him tattooing me but like i said guys the pain was like a three to a four out of ten trust 
It's not that big of a deal. Don't focus on it. You've dealt with worse pains. You've dealt with worse pains. And if you haven't, I don't know what to tell you, but do not focus on the fact that it hurts. Please, you gotta have some type of mental fortitude, please. After that, it looked, I'll show you a picture. I'm gonna attach a picture now. You will see that my back is red, but it didn't really hurt like that. It, it didn't hurt. Um, I didn't have no adrenaline running or anything like that. I felt a little sore maybe, but nothing crazy. Look, you if you got your back blown out and your partner or whomever you was messing with was tearing your shit up, you were sore, It that's worse than how I felt, okay? So look, relax, relax. For those that are anxious, relax. It is okay, okay? It is okay, because I saw all these other videos and they were saying, oh, it hurt, da, da. Relax, it don't hurt that bad. But I use Aquaphor for my healing process. So I use Aquaphor and I put it on two to three times a day, like he told me to do, but I always made sure like it was never dry. So when I woke up the next morning, I did feel sore. I just made sure I kept the area moisturized and I did receive some scabbing a little bit at the bottom part and I might have to get that touched up, but um, it's healing so nicely. It itched a little bit, it itched a little bit, but I kept it like moisturized. It's, it's been itching a little bit, but I've been keeping it moisturized and just keeping the aquaphor on it. And to me, it's healing very nicely. Oh, the next session I get, I will get lilies all around it and everything. I am very happy. I'm very glad I got this. And I just wanted to share with you all that it is okay. It is okay. Get that tattoo. You will be fine. Okay, do what you want to do. The tattoo does say fearfully and wonderfully made. I had someone translate it for me. I believe it might mean, it can mean something else, but it's all along the same lines of what I needed to say on my back. So I don't need nobody trying to be in the comments being too specific and pissing me off, okay? I know what it means to me, all right? So just don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. I'm just saying. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If I missed anything and you have any questions, please comment. Let me know. Reach out to me because I'm very responsive. If you say something in the comments and you really want to know something, I will be here to try to answer it in the best way I know how. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my kings and queens, if you made it this far. Thank you so much for watching because you definitely did not have to, and I appreciate it. I want you all to have a lovely day. Stay royal and stay blessed. Bye.